Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Umi Kalsu Menti Abdul Karim. So we meet again in second video for electrochemistry. So in this video, uh, I will explain to you how to calculate the standard cell potential by using standard reduction potential table and how to write a cell notation or a cell diagram. So, uh, as you know, cell potential, this or standard cell potential, is the potential difference between the cathode and the anode at standard condition. So, there are two formulas to calculate the standard cell potential. The first formula is E0 cell equal to E0 cathode minus E0 anode. And the second formula is E0 cell equal to E0 oxidation plus E0 reduction. So, you can choose uh, which one you like, okay? We, because we can use either one. Okay, let's go straight to the questions on how to use. So, based on the question, I will show you how to use the formula. So, the question say that, calculate the cell potential of a voltage cell that uses zinc, zinc 2 plus and copper, copper 2 plus of cell reaction. Given the E naught reduction for zinc, zinc 2 plus is negative 0.764 volt and E naught reduction for copper, copper 2 plus is positive 0.34 volt. So the value for the E naught reduction for this half cell reaction is uh, is obtained from the standard reduction potential table. But don't worry, um, the inner reduction for each half cell reaction will be given to you in the question. Okay. Right, so let's look how to calculate the cell potential by using the first formula. Okay. So uh, the first step to calculate the cell potential using this formula is that you need to know uh, which half cell reaction is cathode and which half cell reaction is the anode okay so how to know which one is cathode which one is anode is actually based on the uh, standard reduction potential given to you in the question so inner reduction for zinc zinc 2 plus is negative 0 0.76 and for copper is positive 0 0.344 so remember in the first video, I said to you that the more positive the E naught reduction, uh, the more positive the standard reduction potential, okay, uh, will be the, will undergo reduction or will be at the cathode. So based on this one, which one is the more positive? Okay, this one, right? So copper, copper to plus half cell reaction will be the cathode. And zinc zinc two plus half cell reaction will be the anode. So you just use this value and substitute it into the formula. So E not cathode is positive zero point three four volt minus okay uh, E not anode which is negative zero point seven six volt. So we will get the answer is. Positive one point one zero four. Okay. So um, now let look in how to use the second formula. Okay. So uh, to use the sec this second formula again, you need to know which one is cathode, which one is anode, and based on the standard reduction potential uh, value, we know that zinc is uh, zinc um, will be the anode and copper will be the cathode. So, um, the value given to you is in reduction is negative 0 0.76. So, this is for a reduction reaction. So, you need to, because we know that zinc undergo oxidation at the anode, so we need to change the sign, okay? Because we want to find the inner oxidation, so you need to change the sign 
from negative 0 0.76 volt to positive uh, 0 0.76 volt. Okay, once we have to change the sign for the inox station, you can substitute into the formula. And for reduction, we know copper undergo reductions. So the value given to you is for the reduction, which is 0 0.34 volts. So you can use directly the value and substitute it into the formula. Okay. So uh, zero uh, in oxidation plus in reduction. So you get 0 0.76 volt plus 0 0.34 volt. So the answer will be the same, just 1.10. All right, next, uh, we look into how to calculate the cell notation or cell diagram. Okay. So, uh, so this is the cell notation or cell diagram. So when the question asks you how to write the cell notation or cell diagram, is how you have to do lah. Okay, ni cara nak, nak, nak tulis kan. Okay, so um, the cell notation or the cell diagram will show you the the compartment of the anode and the cathode. So anode uh, will always be on the uh, left side. Okay, and cathode will always be on the right side. So the first step. You need to determine which one is anode and which one is cathode. Anode will be on the and then you put the anode on the left hand side and cathode on the right hand side. And then you separate uh, changes in phase because at anode we have zinc solid and zinc ion. So you need to separate the phase by a single vertical line. Okay, same goes to the anode. Separate the phase by single vertical line, and then you show the salt bridge with um, double vertical line. Okay, uh, but there are some electro, uh, there are some voltage cell that use the inner electrode. Okay, for this case, we use zinc electrode and copper electrode. But there is some voltage cell that use inner electrodes. For example, graphite. So, um, if the voltage cell use the inner electrode, you just put the inner electrode on um, the ujung sekali lah, okay? Ah, the ujung sini. All right. And if there is, um, if the voltage cell shows to you the, um. Concentration for the solution for the ion, uh, you just put the concentration inside here. Okay, if there are no concentration indicated in the half cell, meaning that the concentration is the solution is our understanding condition, which is one molarity. Okay, uh, so that's all for this video. So I hope all of you will understand. So we meet again in my next video. Alright, thank you.